Do you suck at playing SCPs? Oh no. Do you really suck at playing SCPs? Bro, I almost got you, bro. I almost got you. Thankfully, having a skill issue is a treatable disease. And I think after wasting 800 hours on this game, I'm basically a certified skill issue doctor. You know the assassin of the SCP team. Erasing the entire population of light containment is her main purpose. Use her shift ability to quickly wipe out small groups of civilians. Despite having tankish qualities, he's absolutely garbage at tanking multiple military and you should never even really bother, since he's way too slow to move out of the way and too weak to do much damage. After early game you simply kill off stragglers you may find. However, 173 does significantly better late game with a strong and healthy 079 player, so communicating with your PC will make you much stronger. Try out the assault class of the SCP team, being essentially the opposite of 173. His enrage makes him unescapably fast, and his two attacks have massive AoE and damage. However, he is incredibly weak when caught off guard, since he has low speed when docile and is completely countered by the micro HID. Rushing large groups like an absolute dumbass is his purpose, and dealing with smaller civilian group sizes is usually a happy accident. Usually the first thing you want to do is go to light containment, help your teammates briefly, then head to entrance to murder the MTF for chaos. Use your charge and mobility to kill as many targets as quickly as possible, but be careful not to get caught in raging or canceling your rage in front of an enemy. Doors are generally the best way to protect yourself in these situations. Dog is an ambush, trapper, and the SCP team. She has a fairly decent and quick AoE attack, some of the best camping potential, and the ability to replicate sounds while also being fairly quiet herself. However, she can only see people if they're close by or making sound, and the mimicry mechanic isn't always effective. At the start of the round, either attack the guards at checkpoint, or go to light and kill there. Don't camp too much, since your path can only kill 1% at a time and your LMB has much better area of effect. At spawn waves, camp the elevator with your amnestic cloud. Running in random directions and spamming LMB will usually kill several. Make sure you have enough stamina to retreat. He is mimicry to his fullest potential, avoid spamming player voice lines. Oftentimes, player voice lines are loud and obvious, and they're best off as a battle cry. The sounds you should mainly use are flow stats to freak friendliness and gunshots to attract attention. Using other SCP noises do have their niche uses, such as using 106 noises to scare someone out of a locked room or replicating a dead SCP to confuse enemies, but usually you need a good reason to use them. They are not very effective when used consistently. Mimic points can also be used while camping to direct attention away from you. Remember that Mimicry is best used in an occasional and varied way, and you should always think about how you would react if you were the victim. Larry is the... flanker? That's what the wiki says, but he doesn't really do that. He's more like the walkthrough door. Larry can be a... troubled SCP. He's basically there for now without zombies, a quarter of his damage, and the ability to fuck all of Nation's laws. He's also fairly slow. The only way to boost his speed is by teleporting or going underground, which has an unbearably long startup. The chair on top? He's slow as hell. Not only does he make walking sounds that can be heard from a mile away, he makes horrific breathing noises too, which completely obliterates his self-potential. 
Even worse, the only way for him to regain shield is by using the shift ability, making him incredibly defensive. Jesus Christ, I genuinely don't know what Northo was thinking of when we were working 106. Much better. I love Doctor so much. Doctor is kind of a support class for the SCP team, acting as a father for his zombies. He can revive them up to three times and give them shield with the R ability. These zombies can be incredibly useful in high numbers due to their scouting potential. Doctor himself is also extremely quiet, making human-like footstep noises, and has an attack that often guarantees death with one click. At round start, go to light and focus solely on zombie numbers. Use the R ability to give all your zombie shields, and the F ability to chase enemies and increase their health by 200 if they are revived. Unlike the other SCPs, your game plan stays roughly the same throughout the round. Make sure to communicate with your zombies to, um... Increase their patriotism, keep them together, and prevent them from meeting electricity. Targeting friends and people you know will be good zombies may sound like a dick move, but you do what you gotta do to keep the monarchy alive, even if that means giving your friends jobs. Zombies have a multitude of different purposes and are generally weak, but under the right circumstances, they can be game-winning. If you know you are likely to be revived, you can check on everyone while you're spectating to give directions to the SP team. Apart from that, you mostly act as a scout to give information to your team, and occasionally horde with the other SPs to attack enemies. Remember that you have extremely low HP and damage, and without any advantages, you will certainly die against a norm human. The server might not have rules against jumping down that pit, but it's also kind of depressing for your poor doctor to witness that, right? I'm gonna give you so much anti-dopamine, I'm, so I'm trusting you guys to kill these two people in 914. <laughs> oh god. PC is the support class for the SCP team and is my personal favorite. By shutting doors on running humans, opening doors if friends won't open, painting danger in people, and being basically the biggest dick rider ever, he can be one of, if not the strongest SCP in the team. However, because they're the biggest dick rider ever, they rely on their teammates and their own communication. 079 must be kind enough to their teammates so that their team remains safe and hardworking, but the shy 079 may also be detrimental to their team. Pointing out generators, bad ideas, and threats is incredibly important, since a proper PC is unbelievably valuable to their teammates, but their teammates are just as valuable to them. This also means that he is by far the worst SCP to play without a microphone. Here's a list of your best allies in order. At the start of the game, stick to your nut like Lou. God, that sounds so wrong, but uh, if you don't have a peanut, just find the next best SCP to watch. You can use the list from before to find out who that is. Direct your teammate to one of the elevators to light. When you're there, shut doors on civilians for extra EXP, open 914, and just try to get as many kills and tears as possible. A tier 1 PC is incredibly weak, but he gets much stronger with just two more tiers. Remember that locking doors takes a lot of energy and is usually not worthwhile at lower tiers. Black Arrow nut constantly at tier 2, Jesus Christ. Keep staying with your SCP and help them secure kills, and only leave them to help other SCPs if they're in a bad situation, like being trapped in a room. At tier 4, you unlock the incredibly useful Breach Scanner, which is vital for the in-game. When there's only one or so people left, check all areas for classes but chaos. Within one or two scans, you should find your targets. If you don't have the Breach Scanner, I recommend checking 914 in the Warhead Silo for anyone camping. Tier 5 is extremely hard to get, but if you do, you'll become extremely powerful, even being able to black out entire zones with the map. You'll also be able to activate the nuclear warhead in the future, although of now that is not a feature. 
It's extremely likely her teammates are all incredibly damaged this late in the game, so you must take extra care to protect them. Overall, the entire point of this tangent is that 079 is really fun to play and you shouldn't be scared to play him. Your job is to open and close doors and it will only hurt to overthink it. This is the first time I've done a video in this kind of format, but I really liked making it. Getting the footage for all the SCPs is kind of a nightmare, since the server I like to play on doesn't have the SCP swap plugin on it, and like anyone else's, my luck is awful when it comes to rules. Recording an actual script was also pretty difficult, since, well, you know, natural underconfident nerd voice. Despite these troubles, though, writing the script, choosing music, and being able to use my ungodly amount of time for a good purpose made everything worth it. I'm thinking about making videos dedicated to counter SCPs, how much I love PC, how much I hate Larry, and SCP items. Until then though, I really hope this helped you.